Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of How to Run on Zwift. Today we are looking at the Zwift Companion app, but specifically how to connect your Bluetooth devices to Zwift if you are running Zwift on a PC. It's a cause of massive consternation a lot of the time, wondering how on earth do I get my Bluetooth foot pod or my Bluetooth heart rate monitor connected to Zwift when Windows doesn't actually support Bluetooth low energy devices. So I've brought up the Zwift app on my PC and you can see in the top right hand corner there, left hand corner for you are two icons one is the ant plus icon one is the bluetooth icon these are the two ways that you connect your devices to zwift so zwift can measure your heart rate and accurately reproduce your speed within the game traditionally on a pc we've used ant plus and we've used ant plus with this usb stick here that AMP plus USB stick plugs right into the computer. I'm just going to do it now for you. And you'll see that when I plug it in, the AMP plus icon will start flashing. Okay, so I've plugged it in. Give it a second and you'll see the AMP plus icon will start flashing. There it is. A beacon in the darkness of connectivity. But if we've only got Bluetooth devices, that doesn't help us at all. So what we need is a bridge between our Bluetooth devices and Windows. And that is the Zwift Companion app. So if we load up the Zwift Companion app, here is my iPhone and I'm going to click on the Companion app. You can see the, the game, the Zwift game is the orange app and the Zwift Companion app is the blue icon. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up the Zwift Companion app by tapping on the icon. You will need to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your PC. So you'll need to make sure that your PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. So they need to both be on the same Wi-Fi network or it won't work. You click on the Companion app. We wait a couple of seconds. That's the normal screen, the normal screen that you will see when you load up the Zwift Companion app. And then shortly it should recognize that we're on the same network as Zwift and that Zwift is loaded. And hopefully any second now it will connect. There we are connecting. So now it's recognized that we have Zwift running on a PC on the same local Wi-Fi network as the Zwift Companion app and the iPhone. So if we now switch back, and look at the PC, you can see in the top right hand corner there that the Ant Plus icon is still flashing, but now we also have the Bluetooth icon flashing. You might also notice in the background behind me, if I just make myself smaller, that I have some connected devices now. I'm not wearing a heart rate monitor, but you can see that my treadmill is connected via Bluetooth as a speed source, and it's also connected as a cadence source. So let me just run through that with you again. In the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see my iPhone. I'm gonna click on the Zwift Companion app and load it up. Behind me, you can see the PC and you'll see the Bluetooth connection and then you'll see me connect to my Bluetooth devices. So here I go, I'm gonna press on the Companion app. That loads up. Give it a few seconds, hopefully it will connect. There we are, we're connected. So we now have the Bluetooth icon flashing as well as the AMP plus icon flashing. So let's see if we can search for our Bluetooth device. And there we are, look, you can see, it says it's a Bluetooth device and that's my treadmill. We click okay. It's also been connected as a cadence source. So then we would click okay and carry on into the game. Let's disconnect the Bluetooth now. So we'll double click on that turn it off. So now let's unpair these devices and let's go in and try and repair now that you can see that the Bluetooth icon no longer exists. And look, the Myron treadmill is black. It's not connected. It says searching at the top there, although it knows that there is a Myron treadmill around somewhere. In fact, it's, it's completely disappeared now. Let's search in cadence nothing in cadence so now let's load up the zwift companion app again so there it is connecting so we now have bluetooth search there is the my run the bluetooth device is there available for me to select and they are now connected if you have a milestone foot pod 
The same thing will happen if you have a stride foot pod, the same thing should happen. Anyone with a milestone or a stride or any other Bluetooth device, that is how you should be able to connect your Bluetooth device to Zwift on a PC. If the milestone doesn't connect, take the battery out, put it back in again, see what happens. Often it will take a few seconds for a foot pod to wake up. So you maybe shake it, put it on your foot and shake your foot about, or even just start the treadmill and start running on the treadmill to wake up your Bluetooth device. Hopefully then you will find that it appears on the screen. Do try always to make sure that your stride foot pod is fully charged. Do make sure that your milestone foot pod has a new battery in it, or at least one that you know has a lot of charge remaining in it. Remember the trick, if your milestone doesn't work, if you're standing still, or if it's not recognized, just take the battery out, leave it for a few seconds, and then put the battery back in. Shake your foot about, shake the milestone pod about, hopefully it will wake up and it will work. And that is it guys, that is how to connect your Bluetooth devices, be it a heart rate monitor, be it a foot pod or anything else, tread tracker even, via the Zwift companion app to a PC running Zwift on Windows. Thanks very much for watching, take care, we'll see you again, bye bye.